Ladies and gentlemen. Roll the camera. Okay. 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 Kira, welcome to Freiburg FM on TV. I'm Jenny Craig. And I'm Johnny English. Today on Freiburg FM on TV we have a background to Freiburg Festival and the latest on this year's musical production, Footloose. But first up... Bullying has become a major problem in schools around the country. And Freiburg is no different. It's a major reason for absenteeism and truancy. Last term, an unprecedented 20 students were stood down for bullying offences, fighting and continued disobedience in recent weeks. Videos depicting graphic violence have been uploaded to social networking and media sharing websites on the internet. Many people think the availability to youngsters could be influencing them and fueling this upsurge in violence. Education correspondent Sam Samuels now speaks with Dr Cornelius J Bumblefroth III, a psychologist specialising in adolescent behaviour. Here's our on-the-spot reporter, Sam. Hello, I'm Sam. I'm joined here with Dr. Cornelius Bumblefroth. Please Cornelius. Cornelius, do you think these videos are the cause of the recent insurge of violence? They certainly are a catalyst. Some children see the videos and think it's okay to beat people up. Others see a sort of social justice and make the assumption that standing up for themselves by returning violence and causing physical harm is justified. Interesting. Do you believe the increase in truancies are linked to bullying? Almost definitely. Students are afraid to attend school if they know they are going to be bullied. They will opt out away from what they consider to be a dangerous environment. I see. And the question that everyone's been asking, why do bullies bully? Well, that's a simple question with no simple answer, Sam. But if research has shown that many bullies have suffered themselves from some form of abuse in their past, they are simply acting out on learned behavior and contributing to a proliferation of the problem. Thank you, Cornelius. Now back to you in the studio. An, in an interesting interview. Thanks, Cornelius. And now for something else. Smashing of windows, litter, graffiti, theft of items and violence are some of the obstacles preventing the Freiburg Festival from happening this year. But what is the Freiburg Festival, you may ask? Well, conceived by Jimmy Samanu last year, it attempts to change the behaviour and culture in the schools by providing, by providing for students to have a good time with money that would otherwise be earmarked for, those, for dealing with those obstacles. Mention uh, $10,000 has been set aside, but every time a window is smashed, a toilet cubicle is vandalised, a fire alarm maliciously set off, $100 comes off the budget. Money is added back after the culprit is discovered and made to put right their wrong. Brian Bryan speaks with Elvis Presley. Thanks, I'm Brian, and here we have today is Elvis. Hi Elvis, and thanks for joining us today. As a key student leader in this year's Freiburg Festival, it must be hard for you to see your school being defaced. Yes, it is. Of all the hard work the students and the teachers put in, it's really sad that uh, the minority of some idiots are using uh, a drawing on the walls and it's ruining our school. So, with the budget rapidly depleting, what does this mean for the end of the year festival? We'd planned to have the Freiburg Festival at Lido like we did last year, but because of the decreasing budget, we're going to have to cut out some things like the free food or the sumo wrestling. So... What can the rest of us do to keep the budget as high as possible? Well, if you see anyone tagging or damaging the school property, you send an anonymous email to freiburg.festival at gmail.com. The um, person will then have to pay the fine and everyone will benefit in the long run. Thank you, Elvis. And that's all from me. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Brian. The rehearsals for this year's production of Footloose are well underway. Cast, crew, musicians, stagehands, students, staff and parents have all been putting in lots of effort to make the show well worth seeing. Less than a month away now, it all seems to be coming together. The story is about an uptight town and a teenager who inspired law changes and excitement. Entertainment correspondent Colin Collins spoke with Kevin Venison. Thanks guys. Today I'm joined with Kevin. And Kevin, how do you think the preparations are coming along? Well, many hours have been put into rehearsals so far, with less than a week to go. We really have put a lot of effort into it, and I think it's going to be a great show. And it's not just who's on stage that's making the show work? Of course not. 
there are the teachers who have put in their own time to help run the run the performance. There's also the voice. Uh, there's also the people who are in charge of props, lighting, sound, and costume. And how do people get to see the show? You can buy a ticket from the school office, or buy two. Invite all your friends and family. Support the students of Freiburg. Come see the show. It's the first show is on the 24th and runs to the 28th. Thank you, Kevin. And now over to my good friend, Sunshine Day, with the weather. Thanks. Let's take a look at tomorrow's weather across Aotearoa with Sunshine Day. Starting with the North Island. The sun is shines on Kaitaia as usual. Morning sun in Auckland, but rain in the afternoon. In Coromandel, the Bay of in Coromandel, the Bay of Plenty, light cloud, 18 degrees. In Hamilton, rain keeps you at 14 degrees. Rotorua and Taupo, thunderstorms and chilly temperatures. Napier Hastings are lucky with a sunshine day of 26 degrees. In New Plymouth, an overnight low of minus 4 degrees means fresh snow but a beautiful day. From Wanganui to Palmerston North, cloudy with warm temperatures. But in the capital, head to the beach for a sunny high of 28 degrees. Across the Cook Strait, Nelson's tops with a high of 31 degrees. Showers in Kaitaia break by midday, so leave your whale watching for the afternoon. In Christchurch, Light cloud with snow in Ashburton. Sunny skies take you to 24 degrees, but dark, angry skies bring heavy rain to the west coast. Moving south, thunderstorms spread inland towards Queenstown, where a chilly 8 degrees brings a fresh dump of snow. A sunny day follows snow in Dunedin. 18 degrees is your high. And finally, cold temperatures bring snow to Invercargill. Hail set to Stuart. Island. Well, New Zealand, that's your weather. Back to you, Jenny and Johnny. Thank you, Sunny Day. We'll be sure to wrap up warming Wellington tomorrow. Well, folks, that's all from us too. We hope you've enjoyed the show and we wish you all a pleasant evening. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time. From the whole team at Freiburg FM on TV, goodbye. Good evening. Have a lovely week. Ladies and gentlemen, Roll the camera. Okay. 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 Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight we are featuring an interview with a very peculiar-looking gentleman. Scene one. Take one.